Hello guys, Survivor here. Welcome back to another episode of Beyond Two Souls. This is episode 13. In the last episode, shit got crazy. Uh, Jody finally found out the truth about what was going on. Call you told she, yo, yo, shit. I, I kind of forgot how the hell how to that motherfucker's name. Son of a bitch. Because it was an entity that that, 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 that their ancestors uh, apparently, uh, you know, you know, you know, got in, you know, in the real, you know, can't came into the real world and stuff so they can because back in the day you know how you know Indian and tribes were you know, how tribes were back back in the day and stuff and we finally found out the truth about all of that and she and she and she and she and she, and she was uh, she was actually been given the talisman by you know her mother and her mother before and another mother, mother before and stuff you know with her ancestors and stuff insane shit really just insane stuff, and we were, and when they were trying to seal up, I didn't end up hel helping as being the fifth soul to help seal up this guy and everything. And we also tried to tell Jay like the truth about things, but you know, shit happened and everything. Uh, Paul is dead, and just in insane stuff. And I think Shin Shimasan is also dead as well. So yeah, just crazy shit, guys. Man, oh my god, crazy shit last episode. You helped us to understand what happened. I feel like that's a lot. Fucked everything. We're gonna continue to live with this thing and hope that one day it will go back to where it came from. What about you? Where are you gonna go now? I don't know. Why? I always thought my gift was a curse. I was really not thinking that I could use it to help you. These last few days showed me it's not the Damn. You didn't think you were just gonna walk, did you? <laughs> Corey, really? My man! It took me some time, but I managed to get it going again. Thank you. It's yours. At least we can do it. Thank you. Dude, so many, so much shit happened this episode. Like, or at least this, this, this part of the game, you know? Wait, Paul? How is How is he still alive? I I thought he died. I I didn't explore the explore, explore the house. Wow. Didn't didn't repair the bike. Are you serious? Told Jay the truth. Didn't complete the ritual. Oh my god, we didn't complete the ritual. Bro. Didn't save Paul. Uh, hugged Jay before leaving. Rescued by ghosts. Took a step outside. Oh my god, dude. I wonder what happened if we did complete the ritual. Because I, I kind of fucked up. So. Oh, separation. This is in between... Welcome to CIA and the condenser. So we're finally gonna go through this shit. Ready? Yeah. Oh. Okay. I'm recording. I concentrate, Joyce. Tell me if you feel anything in particular about any of these objects. See anything I did? Thank you, Dad. It's so pretty. Wow. So Nathan knows about that. Okay. Right? 
Did you see something? I saw a little cup. Nathan, Nathan's daughter, right? Laura. Yeah. Nathan. Okay, I'll talk. Nathan, someone named Ryan Clayton is here to see you. He says you know what it's about. Wait, Ryan. Yes. <laughs> I'll be okay. back in a moment. Isn't he the guy at the at the CIA thing? The agency? Yo. Oh yeah, I see his ass. A homework long Nathan visitor. Nathan been, I don't know, just acting kind of strange lately? He's trying to raise money for the lab at the moment. Maybe he's worried about it. You know how he is. Hmm. Uh, homework? I hope we don't finish too late. I have tons of homework to do. You know, Nathan's always complaining when I get bad grades. He's always keeping me here when I should be studying. That's a discussion you'll have to have with him, Princess. Yeah. Wow, uh, long visitor. Do you know this guy who's come to see Nathan? No idea. I'm so hungry. When do we get a break? Yeah, I'm hungry too. We need to get Nathan out of here for once. Somewhere fancy. <laughs> Sick cafeteria food. Ain't that a bitch? Do you think he'll be long? Relax, Princess. He'll be back in a minute. I don't know. I think we can go out and see for ourselves, pretty much, I think. Yup. Hey, where are you going? Aren't you going to wait for Nathan? Wow. Okay, what else can we do? Hey, I, I know. What can we do, my man? Let's get it. Nothing? Okay. Jody, could you come here, please? Okay. Now we can keep going. About, I'm going on about the shit. Alright. What's up? What's going on, Nathan? Yeah, this guy is looking like freaking Mike from uh, Until Dawn. You, you look upset. This is Ryan Clayton from the CIA. The agents. The agency wants you to join their military school program at Camp Perry. Ryan's going to take care of you from now on. You have to go with him, Jody. So this is how she joined the CIA. Why? I don't understand. Why me? Yeah. This unit belongs to the CIA. They've been tracking your case ever since you arrived. They know what you and Aiden can do. I am not a child. I can make my own decisions. No one can force me to go. I know it's difficult, but you need to understand this is a great opportunity for you. Cynical, cold, aggressive, determined. Oh, so that's just it. You know what's best, and I'm, I'm just supposed to shut up and obey orders? Listen, 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 listen. I don't give a shit about your pathetic adolescent power, all right? You can rant and rave all you want, just shut your mouth and do as you're told. I'll go 
Why the essentials? We've got everything you need at Camp Barry. So, so, so this was like the point that she was feeling like she was being used or some shit, right? Or was it like till later on? I just feel like we need to break that for a minute, because you know, Joe, 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 Jody's pissed. Yeah, let's get that. Okay, what about? Oh. Okay, what else? Is there anything else we can get? Billy, there are other things we could get. Oh, uh, come on. Just, just for all memories, for all memories. <laughs> All right, I think that's probably it, right? <laughs> yeah, it's very, you know, it was kind of. <laughs> Like the second mission of the entire game is just Jody with Ryan at this point, like you know, the embassy and shit. Now it's just. Damn. like Ellen Page does in this game. I'll always be there for you. Yeah? Sorry about that, guys. We're getting back, we're getting back to this emotional moment. I knew this was, this was what was gonna happen though, but damn, the emotion to it I nailed that shit, you know? Separation. I told Dawkins what you saw, obey Clayton, damn, inspire on Clayton and Dawkins, wow. Wow. Oh, the dinner. No, this is not after the embassy. I feel like after that is gonna be some like uh freaking army shit, whatever. So I know there's an ar 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 army level. I know that. I, I know that for damn sure. Yeah. Jody. It's Ryan. Ryan? I was just 
wondering if you got my email. What, what, wait, what, what email? The one I sent three days ago. Oh, shit. <laughs> you know, I've, I've actually been having problems with my computer. What, what was the email about? Dinner, tonight, fancy restaurant. <laughs> anyway, it, it's too late now, so maybe another time? Shit. Shit, I'm so sorry. I... You know, why, why don't you just come over here for dinner tonight? I mean, you wanted to see my apartment anyway, so... Uh, sure, but I... How about around eight? Okay. Yeah, I'll, I'll bring a kick-ass bottle of wine. See you later. <laughs> Then again, it's the same Ryan that we had to kind of deal with, you know, in the embassy mission. Since this is after the embassy mission, hey, let's eat it. Hey, I know what are we doing? Now I get why you blasted my computer. You didn't want me to see Ryan. It's not your call, Aiden. I can do what I want. Fuck this. Fuck this! We're not gonna start this again. I'm not yours, Aiden. I can have a relationship with whoever I want. This is my life. Look, do you fucking hear me? This is my life. I happen to think Ryan is great. He's charming, he's intelligent, he's funny. And I think I'm falling for him. Yeah. Yeah, I'm aware of what happened at the bar. Fuck you for reminding me. Ryan is not like that. Okay. Seven o'clock. I have an hour to make dinner, tidy up, and make myself look good. Alright, let's do this shit. For real? Wow. Put all this Put shit the trash in the trash, in the fucking trash, in the motherfucking trash. Bitch. How that all fit in there is beyond me. I gotta find something I can make in one hour with what's ever left in the fridge. Wow. This is... Call my man Gordon Ramsay uh, up in here to fix some, because I'm pretty sure he can do some. He should be fun. I mean, that looks good. It's not too complicated. Curry chicken with oven baked vegetables. It'll take some time in the oven, but it seems doable. Pizza delivery. It's not exactly gourmet, but no preparation, no mess. I mean, it could be an option. Chicken curry, Asian beef pizza. It's mm. time to just. Asian beef. I mean, it looks suitably exotic. As long as I don't manage to fuck it up. Alright, let's do this. Iron, what the... Not funny. Thanks, Ida. Bro. That was kind of scary. My man Aiden. Looked like he was about to stab. I mean... I, I don't know. That, that kind of freaked me out right there. Oh my god, wow, the uh, uh, onions, bro. Alright. Okay. Hey. 
cut this bitch up. Do all this. Keep it going. Alright. So far, so good. Yeah, just keep reading. Okay, yeah, how to make Asian beef, though? Use a walk. Where, where's a walk at? I did. Okay, you could just say a pan, but okay, I can get the detail about that shit. Hey. Hopefully we can take a shower real quick and don't fuck this up. Ginger, pepper, salt. Not ginger. It's supposed to be an aphrodisiac. I mean, it's not in the recipe, but. Don't do it. Put it back, put it back, put no, it back. You don't need that. Yeah, uh, pepper, salt, put pepper. No, no, what the fuck? Get the pepper! And a bit of salt, and I think we'll be good. We be Gucci. Gucci, man. Come on, game. Don't pull this shit. And we Gucci. Alright, add the sake for flavor. Jesus Christ! Oh. I think I'm beginning to like cooking. Because <laughs> you know, you're getting ready to burn shit? Ryan, you are gonna love this. Oh. Crap. Crap, he's early. I'm coming! Oh, shit. Um, 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 oh fuck. Um, shit. I didn't? Great. Oh, good one, Iden. Okay, you got me. Now, open the door. Oh my god, bro. What the hell, Aiden? Aiden? Aiden, come on, open up! Shit, we're supposed to hold all this, bro. Damn. Alright, I'm gonna go ahead and end this episode Beyond Two Souls, man, bro. I know Aiden is kind of there about the whole what happened at the bar and shit. We all know what, how, how it happened then, too. But yeah, um, but come on, Ryan, for what we've seen from all the episodes that we've seen of him and in and, and, and Shepard's shit, he seems like a pretty cool guy. So I would kind of, I don't know, so. Hope you guys enjoyed it still. Like the bell if y'all enjoyed, subscribe below if y'all want to see more and comment below what y'all think. If y'all new to the channel, if y'all want to see more, be sure to subscribe for more. And hope you guys enjoyed it. And I will see y'all next time. Survivor out. And yes, I'm using my president voice. <laughs> <laughs> um again, I hope you guys enjoyed it and I will see y'all in episode 14. <laughs> my president voice. <laughs> what the hell am I doing? <laughs>